Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curva.com and uh, today I want to show you a trick I discovered a couple of weeks ago. I think it's been there for a while but I didn't realize it until now. And uh, it is a way to add query parameters easily into your source paths instead of going into the advanced query editor. Let me show you with an example. So here in Power BI, I have a, an empty file. We're going to import data. Let's get that, for example. Put it there. Edit. And as you already know, what uh, Power BI does is it hard codes the paths, right? The, actual link to the file is in here and uh, that is not really optimal but with query parameters you can uh, um, get around this problem so what we're going to do is we're going to create a query parameter that changes this path uh, for example if you have two computers one at home and one at work this path will be different so we want to be able to easily change uh, how this works so let's start creating the query parameters. We go to manage parameters, create a new, call it file path, for example. And now we are going to call it, we're going to have it as a list of values. And here we are going to have this is the path uh, to the file and what we want to do is remove that remove that too and then one computer let's say that is that and the other computer is called user 27 So, and we're going to get that one as the default value, okay? So now we have the parameters uh, with the different uh, URLs or source uh, paths. And uh, what we want to do is we want to add that into our hard-coded uh, link right so instead of uh, having root p here we want to change it to this or the other one depending on which computer i'm at and in all the videos uh, i have done i've always go here and do the changes and this is fine if you have only one query parameters but i am um, i have five so i have like six seven <laughs> and it becomes a little bit difficult to actually do this change without making any syntax errors. So by accident, I discovered this. If you go to source, to the gear, click on it, you have a basic setting and then you have an advanced setting. And in the advanced setting, you can start doing really nice things. So here we have the path and then here you can say, okay, now I want a parameter. We only have one parameter, so that's the one that shows up. If you have others, you will get a list. So we want that, and then we want the rest of the URL. Now, the parameter has that information inside, right? So we will copy all that and move it in there. And then our parameter had both backslash. So this is the way it should look like. To make sure that you're doing it right, you have a preview here, which is extremely helpful. So this is a very, very easy way to, to create your parameters in your source files and to do it in a way that you will not make mistakes. So we click OK and it worked. If it, were, if it didn't work, then uh, you would get an error when you are loading this. So short video, but uh, if you miss this feature as I did, uh, hopefully really useful. 
Okay, so this is all for today. If you like the video, let me know by liking it. If you have comments, questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe, I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a nice evening. Bye!